بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إننا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم وغير المغوب عليهم ولا الضالين أعطنا الصحبة والخير في الجامعية Our Holy Prophet ﷺ states in his Hadith Sharif The religion of Islam is the religion of goodness and beauty. It does not want any harm or evil to be done to anybody. It says, neither harm anyone nor be harmed by anyone, says the Holy Prophet. Everything has a method, a manner in Islam. Islam is the religion of mercy and beauty. So even against the enemy, Everything has laws and rules. You can't just do things as you like, however your ego likes. You cannot do it. You cannot harm the elderly and the children or those who ask for safety. You cannot touch them. You cannot harm them. So the religion of Islam is the religion of safety. It's a beautiful religion. It fits the nature of man, of humanity, by Allah Azza wa Jalla. And he created the religion of Islam as such so that it may be of benefit to humanity. Ever since Adam alayhi salam, Till the final Prophet, Holy Prophet the religion has been Islam. In the Deen and Allah Islam, he says, they're not religions, it's all one. There is no difference amongst them. And since they are also Islam, they have no evil in them either, and there's no permission to do evil. Those who deserve a punishment are given the punishment. And the rest you cannot touch, the rest you should not interfere with. This does not exist in any other place in the corrupted religions of the people of the book. It says there that you could harm people and do evil, but they are all They've all been corrupted and changed later. There are such laws and orders. Otherwise, ever since Adam السلام, till now, all the prophets, till the Holy Prophet, they all came to benefit people and to keep people away from evil. That's what was sent as books and as prophets to people. So people may not follow their egos. If When they follow the ego and shaitan, they have no mercy on anybody and they don't look at anybody to discriminate. May Allah protect us. May Allah guide people so they see the truth and they see the beauty, inshallah. Of course, they do not control their ego. To control the ego is a command of Islam and it happens by obeying the orders of Islam. May Allah give us strength so we may preserve our ego and may we not go after our ego.